What's up guys, Part Time Gamer Dad here, and today I'm going to give you my NXT Stand to Deliver 2024 predictions. But before we get into the video, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe. We are on the road to 2,100 subscribers before Stand and Deliver. And also let me know down below your predictions for Stand and Deliver, and let's get into the video. So to start, we have the pre-show match between Joe Gacy versus Sean Spears. Sean Spears just came back. He lost that match to Dijak, and I think Sean Spears, that's the only loss he's going to be taking for a little while. We're going to have him defeat Joe Gacy. I think Joe Gacy is a poor man's, uh, it's a wish.com version of Bray Wyatt. I like Joe Gacy's work, but I just don't think he is on the same level as somebody like Bray Wyatt as a spooky character. Uh, obviously, he lost the, the dyad, uh, and Ava Rain is kind of running things from a, a GM perspective now. So he's kind of lost his tribe, and I just think he's going to start to lose his matches and continue to go down this losing path. So I have Sean Spears, the chairman, to win this one. Speaking of Dijak, let's talk about that triple threat NXT North American match between the challengers Dijak, Josh Briggs, and the champ Oba Femi. Look, I like all three of these guys. Oba Femi is something else though, guys. Like He is going to be a star for years to come, and I really love some of these up-and-coming stars in NXT. If you're not watching NXT, you're missing out. I know it's like the Nickelodeon st uh, studio got plastered with wrestlers. I don't care. Like This is what... NXT is meant for is to build and develop these wrestlers into stars, and that's what Oba Femi is. And I see him retaining in this triple threat pretty easily, although Dijak is a machine and will get close to winning, but I think that Oba Femi pins Josh Briggs to retain the title. Lyra Valkyria against Roxanne Perez for the women's championship. Now Roxanne has turned heel, which feels weird, but I guess it also kind of works out in terms of the story. I still think that. She is going to feud with Cora when Cora comes back, but I don't think it's going to be for the title. And I think Lyra beating Becky Lynch and being the woman to take that title off of her was so significant that they don't want to devalue that, especially with Becky going to wrestle Rhea for the Women's World Championship uh, at WrestleMania Night 1, so later in the day. So I'm going to have Lyra Valkyria defeat Roxanne Perez, and maybe Cora J does come back and cost her the match, and Cora J comes back as a face, but either way, I'm going to have Lyra defending that title successfully. Sticking with women's action, we're going to talk about the six-woman tag team match. I'm going to read these names off because I don't know half of them these days. Uh, Thea Hale, uh, Fallon Henley, and Kalani Jordan versus JC Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dane. Honestly, I think the most interesting stuff has been with Thea Hale. So I'm going to have her team win. There's really no rhyme or reason for me on that one. Um, I'm not as familiar with that storyline. Uh, I don't watch NXT every single week. But Thea Hale has had an interesting story in development. So I think she is the one that will walk away with the win. So I'm going to have Thea Hale seem to win. Let's talk about the tag team championships. We've got Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker defending against Axiom and Nathan Frazier. I really think that Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin are going to lose. I think it's going to lead to a bit of a feud, but Braun Breaker's already been called up to SmackDown. He has, the night before, he's got the actual Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, which I think either he or Chad Gable's going to win. I'm not going to predict that match because it's not part of WrestleMania proper. But I do think that we are going to see these two guys implode a little bit and then potentially go up together maybe as a tag team, on SmackDown. Get Baron Corbin re-acclimated to main roster. He's been in NXT for a while. He's done some great work there. But I do think Axiom and Nathan Frazier are an exciting tag team. They're very fun to watch, very quick, very high-flying. And I think the crowd's really behind them. They won that triple threat tag team match to get the shot at the tag team titles. So I think we see them pick up the titles at this show. And Braun Breaker stays on SmackDown. And maybe Barry Corbin goes to Raw. But I like him with Braun Breaker. So put him on SmackDown with him. Have them be a tag team or have them feud. Either way, it's good for everybody. Ilya Dragunov versus Tony D'Angelo for the NXT Championship. Guys, come on. Ilya's going to win. And watch me be wrong. Watch it be Tony D'Angelo wins the NXT Championship. But I really think it's going to be Ilya Dragunov. This is the guy who choked Gunther out to win the NXT UK Championship. He's the only guy to beat Gunther in WWE. And I think that that is going to be what carries him through. He just has this aura about him. And I've liked the story, actually. I've really liked the interactions between them and the more cinematic elements of the storytelling. I think Ilya Dragunov wins here. And then we might get a proper trick versus Ilya or Carmelo versus Ilya or a triple threat for the NXT title down the road. And then speaking of Carmelo and trick, of course, the main event between those two guys. 
man, it's hard. It's hard to say because they're both so good. And you know that Trick Williams is the star, not just of this feud, but of all of NXT. He is the man. So I got to go with the man, Trick Williams, to defeat Carmelo Hayes. He's going to get his revenge. Carmelo laid him out. Carmelo is the one who cost him the NXT World Championship. He is the one who stands in Trick's way to get everything that he's ever wanted in this business. And so I see Trick Williams defeating Carmelo Hayes. I could see both of these guys getting called up the next night or over the following week. I think Carmelo has already gone to SmackDown, so it makes sense for him to get called up a little more quickly. Maybe have Trick stick around, win a title, get a little bit of exposure of what being a champion is like under his belt. They could pay attention to things and maybe finesse with him. But in terms of main roster ready, like he's probably the most main roster ready guy they have. Carmelo is probably number two. He might even surpass him a little bit in terms of just the fact that he's been there and he's gotten to work at a consistent level over the last couple months. But I think whatever happens with regarding their call-ups, Trick Williams is going to win this match. He's got the crowd behind him. He is He's a megastar. And this guy will be a future world champion on the main roster, and he will main event, like quote me now, he will main event of WrestleMania in the next 10 years. Well, there you go, guys. Those are my NXT Stand and Deliver predictions. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you let me know down below in the comments what your predictions are for Stand and Deliver, and make sure you check out my WrestleMania 40 predictions. I think they're pretty good, but let me know if you disagree with any of them, or maybe you agree with all of them. Maybe we should be best friends. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.